That was certainly the case today. And, you know, when we played them before, I'm not sure we ever stopped them. Uh, but we, we uh, defended them better. And, and one way to defend them better is, is, uh, is obviously to probably play a little bit better offensively and, and limit their possessions a little bit. But today was a pretty fast-paced game, and, and uh, we didn't do a good job of ever really getting any rhythm defensively at all. They, 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 they controlled the game from their offensive game. Is there anything you've done differently on you? You said it's a five man can bring the you know your big man out from the page. Anything you can do differently to kind of control a player like that? Uh, yeah, you know, we, we could probably uh, you know, Fred's really good at at, uh, at matching up and, and we play we play one real small ball. So uh, we tried to put it in a situation where we could at times you know, switch the ball screens. But Fred's smart enough to make sure if we switched them, we switched them with uh, With a little, and then therefore create an advantage for the side on that deal. So, I mean, if I had to do all over again, we would probably do something different. Uh, but the biggest thing we have to do would be play with more energy because you know you can't allow the team to go. You know, they had 10 three point plays in the first half, and then they I don't know I don't know they only made three threes, but I think they had two or three three point plays the second half in addition to making threes. And we just we you know it's too hard to. Uh, play from behind when, when you're scoring twos and they're scoring threes. And, you know, they're stretched to start the second half.